Bullseye. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about the reaper. What's up, YouTube? It's Zyph here, and I'd like to welcome you to a new series on my channel. Today, we are doing a Clash of Clans Let's Play. So, as you can see, I obviously don't have my crazy level 108 base that I've been working on for almost two years now that I've been playing Clash of Clans and stuff, and I decided. I wanted to bring it to my YouTube channel. So in today's episode, I um, because there's a bunch of people that just recently start playing Clash of Clans whenever there's an update, I uh, thought I'd do a video on how to kind of start off playing Clash of Clans because everyone wants to have that maxed out Town Hall 10 base when you go to the top players in the world and you're just like, oh yeah, let's, let's look at the number one guy in the world. Everyone wants to be that guy right here. Everyone wants to do that. But um, that doesn't necessarily happen every time because most people don't know how to start getting there, really. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is kind of the basic idea behind it. And each, each episode that I do of this will have a general topic kind of thing of stuff that I'm going to be working on. Like right now, like I literally made, like just, just started, like not even to level 2 yet, like ridiculously easy to level up at this point. Like, literally, all I've done is the tutorial. Haven't even opened up this shop right here. So, I'm going to do that, actually. And so, right off the start, you want as many elixir collectors and gold mines as you can get. Because whenever you're building things, um, like, later on, it usually takes, like, for example, it takes 6 million gold or something to upgrade most of the things that I need to upgrade. Like, to get a maxed out mortar or maxed out inferno tower or all that crazy stuff you get to later on. So, um, it takes forever to do that kind of stuff. So you always want to have your gold mines maxed out because at this point you're going to be basically always on at this level that as much as you can, because literally, like, as you can see, I literally like go back to here. I literally just made this elixir collector and gold mine right here and they're already done. It took 10 seconds to make them to upgrade it. Oh, well I collected it. Whoops. To upgrade it, it takes a minute. So at the first couple of levels, you can literally be here in one sitting and have stuff at level, like, four or five, basically, at this point. So, um, you obviously want a barracks. And biggest key, they always tell you in the starting thing, oh, use gems to do this faster. Do not, do not use any gems. Whatever you do, do not use gems. You are going to want gems later on. So if you go up here and you look at your builder's hut up at the top, um, these guys, these are the key to Clash of Clans. In my big base, I have five of them, which is the maximum. Right now, because I just started off, I have two of five. It's up to you on whether or not you want to spend money, your own money or whatever. I don't spend my own money on it. The only time that gems are bought from this store right here is if it's a holiday or something and I get an iTunes gift card. I don't spend, I think I've spent my own money once and it was like a $10 bag of gems or something but that was like right at the start wanted to get builders and I was like oh man I got 10 bucks I might as well spend it on this but that's really your personal preference you don't have to use gems but like these top player guys basically all of them use gems because how how else will they freaking at level 135 be number eight in the world Tashi this guy right here like that that's ridiculous and um and there's no way because like I, I would show you, but I don't have them added as friends on here because it's a different Game Center account. But if I go on um, my friends on the other one, there's not any friends on here because I literally just made this Game Center account, as I just said. But um, there's the people that I was showing in my uh, my update for Clash of Clans kind of thing. They are, like, maxed out. They're, like, level 170, 160, something, like, ridiculous like that. And they're, they, they can go up to champions if they want to, but they're not... They're not the type of people that are like, oh, boom, top clan in the world, boom, top player in the world. Like, this guy is 20 levels higher than the number one guy in the world. And he has, I don't know, probably like 2,000, 3,000 trophies, not 3,000, no, 2,000 trophies less than him. That's just the personal preference. They farm stuff. So, uh, first off, I want to explain farming and trophy pushing, because I'm going to be using those terms a good amount throughout this series, because... Whenever you go in and you're like, oh, I want to create a base or whatever, that's what you're going to be wanting to use. Obviously, I don't have the base creator thing or war stuff at this point. Whoops. Um, 
because you need to be Town Hall 6 to do war things. So Town Hall 3, I unlock all this stuff, and I unlock Mortar. So at higher Town Halls, you always want splash damage stuff first. Like, upgrade splash damage stuff, and say, say for example, you always want to buy the new defenses, but say a splash damage thing is the new defense, you want to buy that first. But um, at the higher levels, when you get like, say you can unlock two cannons and an archer tower, or you can upgrade your mortar again that you already have. You're going to want the archer and cannon. But as soon as you get all the new buildings in, you want to keep upgrading your splash damage stuff as much as you can, as fast as you can. So uh, let's go in here and look at defenses. So cannon. I'm going to get another cannon in here. And uh, let's go over here. And uh, I don't even have enough for an archer tower. So at the start, you can literally use whatever you want. Right now I have 20 barbarians because my army camp isn't upgraded and that's really how it goes so uh yeah that's that's how it goes so you're not gonna want to really attack online there's no point in it right now i have a three day shield so you're gonna want to get as much as you can do really done at that point so um you want as much done before people start attacking you and uh really by this point the um the town hall for all you care you can put it out in the middle of nowhere over here it doesn't make a difference either way but, um, like, you just chuck that sucker out there. And, um, so you go back in. The only thing that you're going to want to protect Town Hall is because it's your storage capacity at the start. And losing a thousand elixir and gold isn't that big of a deal when you're Town Hall 10. But when you're freaking Town Hall 1 to probably 5 or 6, it's, that's like losing a good chunk of your money. So you're going to want to protect that guy. So right now, I... I can't really, these walls are 50 each, like, that's not going to do me jack squat worth. I'm going to get 12 walls and I can buy 25 of them. So you're going to want to attack all these goblin guys, because this is what you're going to want to be doing at the start. So these two attacks, you can literally do them however you want, because you basically always win at the start, no matter what you do. So, like, I place 10 guys over here, and then I can place 10 guys over here, and I've won. Like, literally, that's it. Like, donezo, completely done, boom. Like, all I gotta do is sit here and watch, and I get a three-star. And, uh, yeah, that's how that really goes. So, like, that's filling up my elixir completely, and the gold is, like, 1,600, and I think... Do you get a bonus? No, you don't get a bonus because you don't have a trophy thing. That's only on the online. I'm used to using my other account where it's like, oh, you get a 50,000 of each bonus. Which, at this level, would literally max out everything if you got 50,000 gold. But, I mean... If, if you're playing with friends, you're going to want to get this as fast as possible. When I started, it was 40,000. They made it 10,000 now because people joined so they can play with friends. So they made it kind of more like that. No, I'm not going to use those gems on that. But um, another way to get gems besides buying them is uh, there's also these things that spawn. There's not one on here right now. But there's this little box that's probably about the size of this tree right here. And um, the, uh, the little gem box, it... Uh, you spend like, I think it's 2,000 or something to remove it, 2,000 elixir, and it gives you 25 gems. Just boom, there's some gems, enjoy yourself. That was in a, one of the more recent updates, so it's not super new. But like right now, like these are the ones that I would go through and I would just remove them, and it gives you somewhere between 3 to like 8 gems or something like that. And uh, if you just slowly do that and remove all these things, and then they'll naturally spawn in over time. Uh, you, you can save up your gems that way. It's just extremely slow and people get so bored doing it that they want to buy gems. So, um, I'm going to go back in and, uh, first off, I'm going to move that over and, uh, on my desk or whatever. That's not important. But I have two barracks now. I got, uh, barbarians training up and then you're going to want to learn, like, each person, if you go through all these things, there's P.E.K.K.A., Dragon, all, all of the whole lot of everything. And, uh, as you saw on mine, on... You also unlock Dark Elixir at a certain point. That really isn't that big of a factor at the beginning. That's really, like, you literally only use it to upgrade either Dark dark Troops or your King and Queen, which is at Town Hall 7, or Town Hall 7, 8, and 9 is when all that stuff is really important kind of stuff. And then Town Hall 10, obviously, because everything's important then. But um, really, at the start, you want to get your defenses set up. I mean, I obviously don't even have walls at this point, so I, I, I can't really, like, say, oh, yeah, I already did that or whatever. But um, I'm going to put in another archer tower because why the heck not. And um, you just kind of got to play around with bases. You can look them up on the Clash of Clans builder or website or whatever on little base ideas. But right now, I'm just going to put all these guys in a little block and kind of spend all the money there. And so I'm out of money. And uh, 
And the new the good thing is that you can just select a row and like move it around now. You used to have to be able to individually move them or whatever. But I don't know what level the uh, the editor is where you can have multiple bases or whatever. Because at this point, you can literally move around stuff and it's not that big of a hassle. But that editor thing where you can uh, add stuff in or whatever, that is at a, uh, what's it called? Um, that was added in after I was already like Town Hall 9 or 10 or something. Or it might have been 8. I think it was 9 because I was at Town Hall 9 for a really long time. But, um, the, that was added in afterwards, so I actually don't know, I haven't looked up, like, when it's unlocked or whatever, which I'll kind of be finding out in this series, and, uh, I'm not really sure, like, what I'm gonna be doing, how, how long I'm gonna put each episode, it's probably gonna be somewhere around 20 minutes, I think, but, um, so, another thing, as you can see, like, you can see how maxed out my stuff is right now, you see that, see that amazing base right there in that little box up there? And you see all those really high-level troops, like, dang, that's ridiculous. But anyway, I was just being sarcastic, obviously. Because if you've just started, you really don't have much. It's just, like, basic stuff. You have a little house for your villager people to walk around in. You have a little tiny fire for your, for your little army guys to walk around. And then you have everything else is basically made out of wood. Like, you are freaking poor. Like, ridiculous. But, um... Anyway, if you go in and click on the little face of the, the, uh, what's it, the little tutorial lady that's, like, one of the icon people that talks to you on the side or whatever, she has this achievement area box thing, and it's, like, the, this, like, you go through and you get three stars on each of these things. I obviously don't even have one star on anything, but on my other account, I have almost all of them done. I mean, except for, like, some of the defense ones, it's kind of obnoxious. And you can't really get that done very well. But, um, like, for example, bigger coffers, upgraded gold storage to level 2. Like, you do, you get that, which is stuff that you're going to do anyway, and it gives you a bonus of 2 gems. You uh, win 10 stars on the campaign map. Uh, I need one more of those, and I get 5 more gems. And you can build up a bunch of gems this way. If you go down to, where is it? Like, this kind of stuff, you kind of nickel and dime your way up there. But if you go down to... Um, where it says join the crystal league and in the the thing is called league all-star like when you get to crystal which is 2000 trophies which is a long ways away when you're first starting out that gives you 250 gems when you get to masters it gives you like uh what is it i think it gives you a thousand or 1200 gems or something like that which is huge i mean if you don't have a builder at that point you can get it like in it and um and then you get to champions league and it gives you 2,000. And I haven't even gotten that on mine because I, my trophy pushing skills are kind of like, I haven't practiced them enough. I need to practice more of that. But this is going to be a good practice on this series on stuff like that. Just kind of working my way up. But um, I think, I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Achieve a total of 75 trophies in multiplayer battles. The one titled Sweet Victory. That gives you five gems. I know that the final one is to pass... 1250 trophies at that point it gives you like 1250 gems just for getting there and i mean anyone that's actually played the game for more than like two weeks you basically get to that point or maybe three weeks depending on like how much you play or whatever but i mean you're only you're only kept up by the amount of times you can raid how long it takes for your your army camp to fill up with your troops and how long it takes for your barracks to train everything and how long it takes to upgrade stuff so like the more builders you get the higher level your barracks are to be able to train more things and the higher level your army camps are to hold more things i mean the faster everything goes like if i just plop down and i was just like okay here's like 20 bucks or 50 bucks or however much it is to uh get five builders or whatever that is um that'll speed up the process a crap ton like for example the way i got my fourth builder on my account is i think my I think we were watching the uh, NBA playoffs last... It was almost two years ago, I think. And um, I made a, a bet with my dad on, like, if if this team won, I had to buy him a builder hut. And if that team won, and we just bet on either team, and whichever team won, the, other, the loser had to buy the other guy a builder hut. So the team that I went for ended up winning. And uh, I don't even remember who I was going for. I don't even remember who was in the playoffs that two years ago but whatever um 
so that's how I got mine. I mean, you can make bets with people or something like that. I mean, that's really up to you on how you want to do that. But, um, or you can honestly just like say your birthday's coming up in a month or two months. You just get one person to give you a, like they would normally give you like cash or something. They just give you an iTunes gift card or something like that. And boom, you have your builders and you can go fast as crap through this. Or honestly, you could just sit here and go through each tree and rock and work your way up to it. It's really completely up to you. It's personal preference on that kind of stuff. But um, I, I have enough troops to attack again, so I'm going to get that achievement where I get 10 stars on the uh, campaign. And there's also 150 possible stars that you can get on there. And so, let's see, what am I going to want to do? Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to rush all 20 of them from right here and just plow through. And I think they'll end up getting to that cannon up here at the top before it's even a problem. But dang, I'm so used to the guys that can tank like 15 hits from everything. Like these guys are level one, they die in like two shots. So I'm hoping they get through this town hall building. Yeah, they'll get through it fast enough. Cause I'm used to, also used to town halls taking forever to get destroyed. But this cannon is screwed now. He's like, like the guy manning this turret or cannon or whatever is probably like, Oh crap, I'm so, like, so many people just overwhelming him. But, um, honestly, I don't know how a guy would fit under there. Like, what is that being operated by? I never really thought of that. But, now they're just taking out the little buildings and that's really about it. I've always wanted, as you can see in the background now that the thing's already over, I probably should have mentioned it beforehand. But, you see all the trees in the background? I've always wanted to have a border of trees around mine. But, I mean, the, the chance of them being exactly that close to each other is, like, no chance at all. So I have my flags around my big base that I play on all the time. But uh, if I go into achievements, it'll say I can claim my reward. I've already gotten one star, win 10 stars on the campaign map. So claim reward, boom, I receive five gems. So I'm at 255, and you're going to want to save them as much as possible. And then once you get all your builders and all your stuff situated later on, you're going to uh, what I do is I use gems on uh, barracks to boost them so I can attack faster. So I'll... <clears throat> I'll maybe queue up something to, to build and it say it takes two weeks to build it or something that's ridiculously long like town hall or whatever um, So I I don't I'm not like always sitting on my phone or whatever I do homework and computer and Xbox or whatever and go through all my stuff that I play and um, Like in the extra free time like maybe I'll spend an hour in a car rider if we're on a trip for three hours or something I boost the barracks for the two hour period and I just play for two hours straight and maybe attack 50 times with the arrangement that I use which I'll probably explain later on because there's no use in me telling you now because I mean if you're a lower level person that's not really going to help you at this point because you can't hold 220 240 kind of people you got 20 dudes and you're like okay let's kill this wooden thing and that's how that goes but um at the beginning like once you get to town hall five and if this is your first time playing it, you're basically hooked on the game at that point because you spend enough time to where it's kind of like, I, I want to keep doing this kind of thing. And I mean, if you quit after that, that's your own choice, but that was a lot of wasted time, I just got to say. But um, what I was trying to say was that um, with all of these things, it uh, the gyms are essential. That's really the main point of this is that the gyms are essential. Save them, don't spend them. And you don't have to spend on clan castle right off the start. You can if you want. You can upgrade your gold storage and get in a clan. That's really up to you. I'm honestly going to just upgrade stuff because it takes like such a short period of time to upgrade them. Um, like this is great. 30 minutes? I mean like holy crap that is the shortest upgrade time. But then again you can just go over here and you're going to be like oh man this one takes one minute. Probably should have done that one first. That's how that goes. But another thing you want to do which I didn't do by upgrading the gold storage is you're going to want to upgrade your pumps. I've mentioned this at the start. Upgrade your pumps. Save, hold on to your gems. Upgrade splash damage towers first, like wizard tower and mortars. And then whenever you unlock a new building, get all of the new buildings first. Then upgrade splash damage first. And if you haven't already, upgrade pumps after that. And then you're going to want to do cannons and archer towers. And you're going to be want to be as maxed out as possible at that level before you go up. And that's very important at the first, I don't know, six or seven. Yeah, I'd say six. Like when you're Town Hall 6 and you're like thinking about going to Town Hall 7, 
you're going to want to be like completely maxed out because Town Hall 7 is when it starts to actually get difficult. So um, that's when it starts to actually be kind of a little bit challenging on where you attack and you don't always 3 star or 2 star or whatever every single base you fight against. And that just is when it starts, you start actually like legitimately playing the game I guess you could say. So there's all the walls, that really doesn't do anything to protect, I just have them there so that I can upgrade them in a line and it's easier. Um, I mean, I have a 3 day shield so I don't need to make defenses right now, you can if you want. And you can kind of learn like where to place stuff and uh, what needs to be on the outside and inside. But when I start getting up a little bit higher, I'll start talking about base building strategies, like where to place your cannons, where to place your mortars, where to put your storages for different types of bases on comparison between farming and trophy pushing and all that good stuff. But really, I think that's about it for this episode of uh, my Zyph Let's Play series on uh, Clash of Clans. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy and found this helpful for um, you guys that are just starting off or say you've done it in the past and you did something wrong and wanted to restart. Anyone that's just starting off, I hope you guys found this helpful and if there's any tips that help the higher up guys for whatever reason, uh, thank you for watching and I really hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. I don't think you understand I'm a beast and there ain't no one going harder than me so if you hate it on me I just let it be you ain't worth my time for me to even say the least why cause I'm a beast I said I'm a beast and there ain't no one going harder than me